Today I'm going to talk about and give a brief review of the 2010 movie I Spit on Your Grave. It's a remake of a film of the same title made in, in I think, 77. Essentially, a long story short, the movie is about a girl who goes, she's a writer, she's a novelist, so she goes into the woods deep in the country so she can get some peace and quiet uh, to work on a novel that she's uh, writing. And while she's there, she basically gets attacked by a bunch of um, locals, uh, local males. She gets raped and she's left for dead and, and so forth. And basically, it turns out that she isn't dead and she wants to engage in a sort of act of vengeance against uh, her rapist. And that's pretty much the, the brunt of the story. And then she just spends the second half of the movie just basically hunting each one of the rapists down and killing them. I thought that this movie was better than the original. The original was was kind of gritty and it had the sort of 70's grindhouse feel so it had a very a, a very dirty feel I think to it which actually made the first half which is essentially devoted to the build-up and the the rape scene they made that kind of more authentic in some sort of a way so I think that the original one in that regard is probably superior but technically speaking um, with regard to cinematography you know all of these different things performances the second one I mean the remake was certainly better and the second half I also thought was better again the vengeance half now it's difficult to review this film because it's there are basically two sides on the one hand you have the group of people who say that this movie is completely um, exploiting women and it's misogynistic and it's disgusting and despicable right due to the fact that you know, they, they have this kind of gang rape, gang rape scene in the first half of the movie, which is, you know, rape scenes obviously are never enjoyable to watch, but this one, in, in both the original and the remake, they're particularly brutal. And anyway, on the other half uh, of, I don't know, the other side of the story, you have the people who kind of view the film as a feminist statement, where you have the first half that is essentially devoted to um, showing, you know, the, again, misogynistic male sort of usurping the power of the feminine spirit, right? And then the feminine spirit comes back and ends up um, enacting all of this vengeance and revenge on her male counterparts uh, by, you know, overtaking and killing them. And so some people view it as a feminist statement. I don't know. I think that it's probably maybe somewhere in the middle they, they think that perhaps the filmmakers think that they can, you know, get or get, use, use kind of the, uh, the intensity and all of the, the really brutalness to kind of bring in viewers and to shock people. But at the same time, they think that, well, maybe we can, you know, fit in a little bit of commentary in there as well with regard to uh, feminism. So I, I don't know exactly where the filmmakers stand, but... The film was, for the most part, well made. Um, like I mentioned before, it's very brutal. And the, the remake, the killings in the second half are certainly much more intense. And, uh, well, I don't want to give away too much about, about the different variations uh, of killing that go on, but they're, re they're relatively creative. And they're certainly very graphic and so if, if you don't particularly like graphic films then you know stay away from this one certainly but the performances were fine I mean you definitely the males in the film uh, they're absolutely deplorable so I mean if if that's what they were going for which I assume it was then I guess they did a good job because there are there's no redeeming qualities whatsoever about any of the male characters in this film they're completely despicable and just uh, yeah they definitely bring out an immense amount of hatred um, in the viewer the female character you certainly felt sympathetic toward her and her situation but at the same time when she was going through all the killings you know you're thinking um, you know what's the point of all this uh, 
all you know all the torture and all the brutality and so forth is it really accomplishing anything so there's that there as well overall because I'm babbling on again I'm going to give the film three stars and I am sort of giving that I'm giving that rating reluctantly I can't say that I really recommend it to many people at all I feel like the the hardcore horror fans who just want to see violence and and so forth I mean I guess you would probably probably like it. I don't really think that that's a good reason to like this movie, but if that's your thing, then you might like it. But anyone else, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it to feminists. <laughs> probably wouldn't be a good idea to watch it. But that's going to be my final say, I guess. Maybe a, maybe like a two point five. Maybe I want to revoke my three my three out of five rating. But I'm just going to stop now before I go on any longer.